1245 at 5 inches. Thirteen forty five could be a silver dime. No, just a wheat penny that was reading a little bit high. It's an 11.45 at 6 inches. There we go, there's a silver. And another damn rosy. That's just about all I find here other than a couple of mercs. Looks like a either a 53 or a 55, I can't really tell. Either way, it's silver. Just pop that out on a 1241 signal right there. That looks like a shot penny. Yeah, you can still see the bullet in there. And that's, yeah, that's a wheat penny. You can see the one cent right there. Another 1241 signal right there. And I can see it just popped out a coin. Based off of that signal, I'm gonna assume it's a penny. And it is. That's uh, another wheat penny. So there's still a few old coins up here. Keep going and see if we can't get something a little better. I'll let you hear this one before I dig it. Didn't bring my GoPro today because trying to mount that on my head and walking through this thick stuff would be probably impossible. But anyway. Where did it go? There it is. So 10, 12 at three inches, that's a pretty solid nickel signal. Of course, it could be a pull tab or anything else, but I'm thinking it might be a nickel, 12, 12. Well, it was a nickel. I can see it right there. Now let's find out if it's an old one. That looks like somebody might have shot that one too. I think that's a buffalo. Yeah, that's a uh, buffalo nickel. Yep. All right, we'll keep going and see if we can find some more. There's not a whole lot of signals left up here, but this is one of the better ones I've had today. That's a 1032, which could be either a mini ball or an Indian head penny. Or a number of other things. All right, stand by. I'll dig it up and show you what it is. Well, it wasn't a mini ball, but it was a bullet. I believe that's going to be post-Civil War, but anyway, just goes to show there's still a few signals left up here. Yeah. Well, I finally got something Civil War era. That is an old rimfire casing, probably from a Spencer carbine. That was down there maybe four or five inches, rang up 1029 on the CTX. So we're out today doing a little park hunting. I'm out with all my buddies. There's Kevin, there's James, there's David, and Jeff's still on his way. David's walking out here and gets silver before he even turns his detector on. 
nice little two bracelet. Five bracelet. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna get after it and hopefully find some more. Just had a nickel type signal right there, and at about four inches down, I popped that out. A little four hole button. Looks like it might have some age to it. But anyway, Jeff finally made it out here. James just popped out what looks to me like a really old head stamp. Green in color, that's been down there a while. So there's some older targets coming up. I've just got another nickel signal, and I'll be damned if it's not another one of those, what looks like a little pewter button. A pewter four hole button. Yeah, that's, I believe that's identical to the other one. We're about probably 50 yards away from where I got the other one. Anyway, I think those are pretty old. Not really sure. Just got a 1226 signal, and at about five or six inches down, I just popped out a pistol ball. So there's definitely some relics left here. Awesome. David just dug an old D buckle. It looks like it's got some age to it. How deep was that one? <laughs> Almost Is it at the bottom of that hole? That, I filled it up. That's just the... Still some relics here. I went. Thank you.